Welcome to the channel. Welcome, gang. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to the channel. My name's Uta Beefs. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Uta underscore Beefs. So, boom, gang. I don't even want you to take this video too serious. I'm just showing you a couple things that I do when I get these new rifles to review. You get me? So, boom. If you lot hear the trains, forget about it. But boom, let me show you something. So boom, firstly, I've cleaned the barrel. It didn't even take too much of them patches to tell the truth. So yeah, it says how you know the rifle's decent. If you lot saw the M60, I took about 25, 30 patches to clean that barrel. You get me? So yeah, barrel's cleaned and I've got 18 in the magazine. So firstly now, I've put a bipod on it obviously, get some stability. Two, I've got the Tanto on the front when silence is a priority. Three, I've still got the MTC scopes on there, but scope on there. But I ain't even gonna lie. The the mounts are kinda short for me, so I really have to bend into it to look down the scope. So when we do the review, I might change it and put the helix on there. But just for the fun in the garden and just for playing about with it now, I'm going to keep the MTC in there, sir. So. so boom, gang. There's a target outside in the garden. We're going to zero the rifle. So basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the crosshairs on the on the dock that's out there and I'm going to shoot and see where it goes and then I'm going to be using the, the turrets the elevation and the windage on the right hand side what you can't see and then just make sure that the cross the pellet shoots where the crosshairs is pointing basically and we're only about 10 yards because I don't know where I shoot and I don't want to go far back and shoot my wall the door the bloody the door frame or anything like that you get me sir we're coming close when it's the road we can move back to like the 20 yard spot basically in the passage so yeah gang let's do this quickly all right so boom gang camera's rolling outside There's a little bit of a wind, but we're not watching that. So yeah, there's 17 in there, let's zero. How did these work? Uh, First shot, now let's see where it goes. Let's do one more. See the trigger? Super sexy. The cocking? Super smooth. Alright, let's go one more time at that. Let's see where it goes. moved up I don't know how much clicks that was but going for the dot again so no one couldn't tell me I didn't cock it in the black dot. I don't know if the camera will pick that up. Right, one 
I'm walking it backwards. This is how a rifle should shoot when you buy it. Sorry to compare it to the M60, obviously there's no comparison, but I don't know how many shots that was, but it's all in one spot. All the pets are touching each other. I'm going to move it up there, two more clicks. So this one might miss because I moved it up a, a touch more because I'm shooting just below it. So I should be right on the middle of the dot now. That was me of a car. Move it back down to two. I was going upwards there. All right, watch this. I'm gonna go for just below that dot, like two inches below that dot. So I've got another point of aim, car. I can't even see properly now, car. I'm shooting into the black dot. But Now I can see where I'm going, I'm going to aim right at that dot. At that last shot, I mean. I'm going to go for that, the first shot that I took at that spot again. See if I can hit that same first shot. Out. Here is the road. Should I go back further? Yes. Alright, so boom, gang. This is the furthest I can get in the crib. You get me? Just over 20 yards. So. I've moved the camera over so car, we know where we're going now. I've moved the camera over a bit. I've moved it over to the left side, I should say. And I'm going to aim for the top right corner of that target. So, yeah, 17 in there. Let's see what we're going to do. Safety. Right, that was my first shot. That's the point of aim now. So I'm going to aim for that and see where it goes. It's kind of loud. It's 
people loud. You know, it's this scope as well, you know, I got it on full magnification, but I can't really see the dots on me, I can do it. Alright, let me go up somewhere, up. let me go just below that now. I'm still trying to, remember I'm still on the 10 yard zero, so it's going to be shooting different. It might shoot a bit lower. Shouldn't really, but yeah. Alright, just below that now. I'm gonna use that as a point of aim now. Move that three clicks. I need to move it to the right. I'm going to aim for that same first shot now. See where it goes. I would say that's zero now. Alright, let me do a complete new hole now so I can show you. I'm going to go below that now. Below that second group, just below it. Alright, we're going for that dot again. Out. I would say zeroed. Let's go check the group's car. I hope we have a battery ain't finished, but let's go check it. Alright, so boom gang, let's check these groups out. Let me start by saying firstly, yeah, the gauge was on 200. I done two magazines. There's 18 shots in the magazine. I done that twice, so that's 36 shots. After them 36 shots, the gauge was on 180. So, a lot of people like that. ask me that question, the gauges, and I don't really care about the gauges part, but yeah, I'll start doing it for you lot. So yeah, I used 20 bar with, 37 sh with 36 shots, sorry. So boom, gang. The capturing. Crazy, I can't lie. You have to remember, the groups are kind of a bit around, around. But you have to remember, the barrel's clean. No, the barrel's new, sorry. And I just cleaned it. We've got to put, like, a tin of pellets, two tin of pellets. So, basically, a thousand pellets through it. Or, 
you get me just to let up the barrel to get it to shoot how you want it to so boom the first 36 shots let's see how it does we started off with this i think we went up no we started off here this was my first two shots and then we went here with i don't know how many pellets then we moved down again then we went up here moved down we moved down you lot already know but they're all 5p groups you get me We shouldn't even we shouldn't even be using the 5p to tell the truth. Let's get the ruler. Let's see the size of the groups. I think that's from there to there. So that's 10 millimeters, one centimeter basically. That's that 1.3 millimeters. Furthest points at 1.2 millimeters. 1.2 millimeters and 1.5. Just remember that car. I'm gonna keep letting up the barrel. You're gonna see by the time I get to the 30 yards, 40 yards, I want the groups to be looking like this. And remember. It's only a 200 and... Nah, let's not get into that. Gang, that's the 36, first 36 shots from the Air Max Catron. i got to go because I'm on the school run. Gang, let me close this out. So, boom, gang, I'm done. That was the first 36 from the Air Max Catron. 5P groups at 20 yards, but... I just need to keep letting it up, car. When we go range, I need it to shoot like that at 40 and 50, so I'm just getting it prepped. So, boom, gang, look out for the next video. I don't know if I'm going to do the magazine versus the single shot loader or I'm going to do a pellet test. I'm not sure, but you lot be ready for it till we go to the big stage, the range. You get me? So, gang, big thank you to Jim. Big thank you to Dan at Crawley Surplus Store. Big up Air Max. I'm having too much fun. I might not even bring it back on Monday, you know. I might tell Jim and Dan that the rifle got COVID. It can't leave the house. <laughs> but yeah, gang, I'm done. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Uta underscore beefs. Be ready for the next one, innit?